Well, as you would expect, we have been asking lots of managers about Manchester City today. Uh, Jurgen Klopp refused to answer any questions on the matter. Uh, Liverpool, remember, pipped by City to the title by a single point on the last day of last season. Because this covers a period when you narrowly missed out on titles to Manchester City, how do you feel seeing the charges that have been brought against Manchester City for alleged breaches of financial regulations? I have absolutely nothing to say about that. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, good. I'm not going to make any comment on that, I'm sorry. But obviously, as somebody who worked there for, for three years, you won two Premier League titles. I was wondering whether in any way you thought, despite all the work you put in on the training ground, that there's a potential that they might be devalued. I can't respond to that question because I will be responding part of the previous question and another one to that, I'm sorry. But you never, in your role, saw anything slightly untoward going on? No. How determined are you to win this league on the pitch and not have to rely or have any other issue about points deduction for your main rival? Let's focus on what we have to do and, and win enough football matches for that to happen. That's it. You want to win it out there, don't you? That's what it's all about. Sorry? You want to win it on the pitch. Yeah, we have to end the right to win it, that's for sure. Very difficult to talk about other clubs. I'm very loath to do that in any way. Um, let's see what happens from the investigation. I've, I've always said that financial fair play is real. For, for us, I don't quite understand. You know, I'm not there doing the figures and the numbers, and I, I, I don't quite understand how it how it fully works. I'm obviously led by the people above me at the club to say what we can and can't do. But certainly, it's been there, and I think it will continue to be there for us unless we can dramatically change our revenue streams. The world we're in, I think, certainly in this country, you're innocent until you're proven guilty. So it's it's again, it's not for me to comment on. Is it a good thing though that? The Premier League uh, maybe clamping down on it to ensure that you know the league is treated in a, a fair and proper way. Well, I think in any competition, if you draw, come out come out of this specific case in any competition, you need to make sure everybody's abiding by the rules. Of course, it's not my business, but uh, of course I am involved in in the football world, and uh, I always believe in uh, in. Uh, our teams, I, I work it with uh, our clubs to accomplish, to, to be respected with the rules. And uh, I don't know exactly, but uh, of course, uh, we have to believe, we have to trust, we have to work in everything is in our, our hands. And um, the issues in another teams, I don't know. Hopefully, everything is going well because I think it's better for everybody.